Greetings, fellow Demon Slayers. This is Timon and Mari, Tack and Waystorm, and we are here today with another Action Timon and video. So for today's footage, we're going to have Wave just take us through his last couple floors of tower. He wants to show off his super bursty Astaroth, and I want to see it because I've heard good things. So that's the video. We're just going to watch him hopefully get through floor 75 and go about our day. Um... He is on the mic. He may say things here and there, but he is playing, so he's going to mostly be quiet due to concentration. And Tack and I will just kind of babble like we usually do. So, yeah, whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and start the run. I gotta say, Very man, cool. I, I love that skin, though. That skin is awesome. Yeah. If we're coming, like, it's, like, the best kimono. Alright. All right, uh, I, I can show the uh, builds when I'm in the tower screen. So okay. I'm mainly just going to be trying to use only Astaroth. I might have to switch up a trash killer just to get Astaroth to the bosses. Uh, but Does she have trouble with trash, or you just want her at like full HP? Well, normally I like running her like either red or green, which demolishes trash, but mm -hmm. she's full blue right now with the new blue supporters. Okay. And un unenchanted, just 5-5 five five PvP weapons. Oh, okay. Magas um, are... Mixed crit rate uh, damage and all tried damage? to get crit damage crit rate, but I haven't really like, fully rolled them. So like these are like max machine rolls, which aren't going to do anything on this. Um, I have some damage to all in there, but the goal would be crit rate crit damage. Okay. And then just uh, fully updated damage on the subs. Yep. Got it. All right. So I'm running. Uh, I, I guess if you only have the three skill slots, probably take off fire wave for this, because most of the damage is going to be coming from the skills. Mm -hmm. uh, and the bread and butter is going to be Supernova and Phoenix Dive. Uh, the one set mostly is important on on this for the burn. Of course, the three set amplifies the damage. On Phoenix Dive, it's the main set blue. So normally when I'm running Astroth, I, I like blue, green, green on her. Normally I run just a good uh, blue support. Uh, I've been liking heavy for the main slot, and then, like, Kitty Mom and Kyoru for the <laughs> big crit damage. <laughs> Kitty Mom. <laughs> it's, it's just so funny that people call her that now. Um, easier to say than her name. Uh, it is, but for honestly. The blue is. Main, for the blue main on Phoenix Dive, it does a uh, 60% uh, burn damage dot, which does for a lot. So, uh, And what I've noticed with the burns is if you hit multiple people, it takes the total damage done from the skill. It doesn't matter if it's one person or 20 things. If you hit the 20 things, it'll take 60% of the total done to the 20 things. So the burn dot gets really high. Are you serious? That skill is that good? I think so. Bro, I never yeah, I think, even bothered uh, when with I've that tried skill. To... I was like, I'm not I'm not charging into crap with her. I don't want to die. That's the first thing I thought. Because when I hit one target, it does a decent burn. But when I hit more targets, the burn just ramps up. And I think it's true, too, for the... Uh, supernova because it says burn the target to deal 40 percent of the damage so if you hit a big wave of mobs with it i think it takes that total done to everything and that's what the burn is i don't think it's an individual target burn it's just however much damage the skill does that's how it calculates the burn damage at least oh. that's what it feels like okay oh man i can't wait to see this now and then uh serpent blaze to help yeah, with that, trash that's, burn, yeah, that's even though it's OP. not empowered yeah, that's yeah, still and it just OP. triggers off. <laughs> it, it just triggers off the attack, so it's all good. Yeah. And then, of course, I'm using the uh, the fire wave. Mhm. Mm all right. Uh, nothing too crazy in the supports other than Shisui. Good old Shisui, uh, Reina, and curse you, because I just could not get a heavy. The bitch would not drop for me. I think she was my my lucky unicorn discount pool. You are. I don't think oh. I pulled too heavy on her banner, but she's only one of five. She's still so uh, good. For this build, you could probably put in the new Yuki as well, because it's all considered ranged. Although I think there's still some debate on Phoenix dive, and I haven't done a lot of. Uh, uh, we actually uh, were debating testing. about that a while ago. I don't know if you were in the chat. It was just a random, but yeah, a Phoenix dive it's range. But, uh, I, I thought it was melee, eight. but it's not. 
Yeah, it, it, it's weird, because she does like a fire aura around her, which does the damage. She doesn't actually hit anything, but it's a charge skill, so I'm just confused. I haven't yeah. done actual testing yet. It, it's ranged. Sui tested it, because uh, because Emily's is melee, so we, I assumed Astaroth would be, but it's not. It is ranged. Yeah, because the, the trigger command is a charge. It's a charge skill, so it's it's dodge attack, which is a charge. I thought all of them were, were melee, unless it had an effect like on Shiranui, where it then does a range aspect. But... According to the devs, that's how it's supposed to be. Basically how the devs worded it, because someone actually sent a ticket a while ago, is if the character moves towards them and makes contact, it's it's always considered melee. But for this skill on Astaroth, it is not. It is ranged. She's the only Need exception that I know of. Well, I mean, we do need more ranged characters to utilize yeah. all these wonderful new blue support damage. Yeah, we what we need is we need a blue character that's ranged. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah, because that'll go good so, with a lot of the stuff. Got most of her costumes. Haven't picked up the maid because I'm saving gems for limited stuff that's to come. And I haven't crafted her friendship yet. So sad. Yeah, I know. I don't have... I actually am missing both of those two. All right. Alrighty. So that's her setup. Uh, just in case I bring Murasaki into the mix. Uh, I think I have her green, green win with Yuno. Yeah, green win with Yuno. Oh, yeah. Green build wins. Love it. Uh, skills on her, uh, Senpu, Tentacle Mind, Tentacle Hole, that's like the trifecta. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a fourth slot. I've really been enjoying Fushinojin. I've that's the really parry. been enjoying that one. Yeah, the, yeah the I know. I was it, When I was leveling her, I was using that, and I'm like, why has no one ever suggest this? That skill's The, the cooldown's really short. It's yeah, so I short, think there's only she does so yeah, much like, damage. Like her and I. And it's yeah. such a huge... Uh, huge area especially with the green area increase oh yeah it's huge it's, it's literally so. like like a quarter of the map it's just around her it's like a little napalm bomb yeah, my only gripe with her is this weapon has been so elusive for me the this is my only copy of it and i had to spend a uh a, a gotcha pity ticket weapon ticket on it Jesus. i think it was like i think it was Damn. like kiara's or ingrid's weapon voucher for, and i struck out on their weapons too I will say this, that uh, axe has been pretty... I think that axe is pretty elusive in general. Because I've only ever seen, like, two drop for me ever, and I've done a fuck ton of gotcha. It just yeah. doesn't pop up often. Like, it, it, it's good enough to warrant uh, doing the demonite, but because it's in the general pool, it's like, do I do I really do demonite when I come across them? Because uh, Kurenai has my next one, so I can max out her limited weapon. Yeah, I used but to think like that, but you know, so rare that I just started using nano machines on like you know. So there's some stuff in the limited I pool would, I would do, but I have one more to give to Shisui. Oh, you're feeding. Yeah, my Shisui's dispatch fodder right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I got her. Okay, now I'm not using her. <laughs> yeah, so uh, her sub is uh, five five PVP, and then uh, all those megas. But hopefully, uh, I won't have to pull her out. All right. So and then. Uh, Using making a splash since demon character. I can dig it. And um uh, let's see, can I get to there we go. Awakening skills. So I'm kind of like evenly spread between damage and defense. Uh I'm going more into the defense after the conversation with the Ultra and uh, Sui. Oh, don't let um, them trick you. <laughs> it, it it's yeah, I know it's good. I'm I'm gonna take away my defense. Damage and go full is good. Glass and cannon not just getting be, killed is good. So yeah, I just want to be an obstinate child and go go full offense just to like see if I can. Cause cause they keep telling me I can't do it and like, so he tried to tell me I wouldn't get through Tower of Kirara with no defense and I did. So I think I'm gonna take the defense away and just keep doing what I'm doing and see what happens. Then if it I mean, fails, I know I could go defensive. If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Yeah, that's why I'm looking at it. Like, I'm not going to try to stack defensive until I need it. So I'm almost... I almost got my uh, all defense to uh, match my crit. I think meant like 18 or 24 or something. Almost at the 30% mark. So I guess it's time to get into it. Yeah. Are these reduced from humans, so I'll be good. Cool. Yeah, sorry yeah, if it feels like we're have... we like I'm like talking over you at points. We just kind of talk. So if you want to say something, just like talk louder. That's like kind of the video rule. Whoever wants to talk just talks over the other person. We don't really. So I don't feel like it's to be rude. I'm just I just run my mouth. That's all. all <laughs> yeah. Um, 
I have extra crests from when I was doing crests before I realized that I needed to save my points for arena weapons. Uh, so just some extra damage and ability damage on there. So. Yeah, I did the same. I actually went, because I, I never brought crest ever. So like I just went and brought like a crab ton that I got a bunch of reds. And just, just to get like, I think it came out to like another 15% damage because I got decent ones. And I'm like, oh, this is nice. Yeah. Key Robert was hitting like, they the can be train. Nice. Oh, that skin. Every time I see it, I feel good inside. Also, I want to ask, oh my god, the Dilla. Have you noticed how um, little Astaroth is? Like, I was talking to Tack the other day, and we noticed Astaroth is like barely taller than Yuki. She's like a short stack. I don't know if anyone's yeah. noticed that. It's because she's floating. She has like air heels. Yeah, she's floating, but like she's barely like burn. a foot above Yuki while she's floating. Imagine if she like stood on the ground. She would be like Yuki's height. Maybe a little taller. I don't know if they like messed up her model like um, As Asuka. Because Asuka is way shorter than she is in like other time in the media in this game for some reason. I don't know if Astaroth is shorter on accident or if she's actually that tiny. She looks, she's so tiny. I, I love her, her freaking her time in an art. Yeah, that skill hits hard, Jesus. I mean, you did a million damage with her, Mario. I know, I know, I did a million damage, but I don't think about it because like I don't run her blue. I just showed the blue build that one time. And I was like, eh, whatever, throw away. Okay, Mario, pay attention to the to the burn damage that he's that. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Oh, did she blink away? Uh, she, she, yeah, blinked. she blinked away. Yeah. She did it again. I need her to clump up. Look at the damage. Oh my hard. god. Yeah. Wow, okay, that does a crap ton of damage. Yeah, that's the reason why yeah. he showed me this too, and I was like, okay, this is... Yeah, I, now I see what yeah, you mean. And I'm I think playing kind of derpy right now because I'm just trying to do the burn damage thing. I'm not trying to... Oh no, you're good. Yeah, I did not know that the burn ramped up like that. That did that. One of those ticked for like 300k. Yeah, that's absurd. Like... And with all the blue support now, yeah, that okay. I guess blue yeah, Astaroth is a tough. thing. I mean, it, it was always a thing. It's just it was a thing, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't think it would like like be like this though. I get her. See, this is why they need to. You know what they need to do? They need to have their skills read like a fucking Magic: The Gathering Mythic rare, because like <laughs> you yeah. shouldn't have to like play test her to figure out that the, the skill works that way. Because I read the skill and just thought, oh, 60%, who cares? I didn't know it, like, applied to all damage that went out when the skill happened. You know, they should stay, say stuff like that. Yeah, all the extra trash is dead, so the burn's not going to be too impressive now. In fact, I might just reset it. No, it's fine. Just wreck her and move on. Eh, true. Uh, the floor before this, I think, was Yuki. She spawned with two or three mobs right next to her, so I just Phoenix dived her, and during the cast animation of the Supernova, she died. Jesus. It's still, yeah, it's still it's pretty impress low. impressive, honestly, the burn. <laughs> she was still kind of yeah. dying. And that, that boss was also, like, uh, an anomaly, because, you know, she blinks around, so... Yeah, that's the I other think thing. I had like a nice cluster and she just blinked out of it at the last second. Yeah, that's another thing with this game. The way stuff like some skills in this game have really poor telegraphs or none at all. So like, like you know, you just yeah. go in there, set everything up right, and then suddenly she wasn't there. Like, I hate when that happens. Like, there should be some, because I mean, it doesn't have to be a long animation, but just maybe like a wave of the hand or something so we know she's going to blink. Yeah, that would be really nice. Yeah. Also, I might be able to switch off Shisui, but she's just insurance to make sure I can get to the boss. All right. Clumps. Any clumps? Any clumps? 
<laughs> they're not having it. They're like, no, we know what you want. Oh, wait, no, there it is. There's the stuff. Yes. Yeah, wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, the burn is I've, just I've gone in up to 800k, I think, when I was in one of the lower levels with you, attack. Yeah, you showed me that, too. What are you all having dates without me? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you actually just... Like, no, no, because like th this is when you like you're like already asleep, so it's like you had you're already like asleep. So he just asked me, "Can you want to?" He pro he like, probably a asked me to like, "Oh, he wants to show me something." And like I always like, yeah, like what time is it? Like oh, yeah, sure, I actually have time before I go to bed, basically. Yeah, I, it's, also it's, my uh, hours are terrible. I'm never around. I saw that other video. I, I forgot who was piloting Astroth, but it was like a uh, budget non whale Astroth kind of. Yeah. And she was doing the fireball thing. Like, uh, you could probably do that, but if you have the uh, Serpent Blaze, you can just basically do what I'm doing, uh, which is, you know, buying time, uh, and just uh, get some distance, pop some fires, and then shoot Serpent Blaze to clear things to stay safe and back. Just another... Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I saw I saw videos. It was someone who left the community. And me and him aren't really on good terms, so I'm not going to, like, give his name or anything, but he posted a video of his Astaroth solo clear. And he actually did floor 75 by just pop shotting the serpent blaze. Like just how you're walking around, he just kept pop shotting it until everything died. And like you know, he never com fully committed to the time. And oh my burn god! Right there on, oh yeah, yeah, I saw. Yo, that okay. So Phoenix dive is nutty. That was a supernova burn. Oh, that was supernova. But, oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> supernova is 40% uh, damage of the uh, uh, of uh, turns into the burn. Phoenix dive is 60. It's just they're both nutty like i never like i always yeah. wrote off the burn yeah because i think it wrote it off just because her supporter was red and she had the burn inside of her own supporter that, that's why you were like really confused when you like why is the burn on blue and not red yeah and her supporter oh, well, like really doesn't the burn ticks are on, whack on the on supporter serpent. i'm sorry what'd you say i'm really feeling the uh, missing out on the cooldown reduction on serpent plays right now oh Oh, there's another wave. Bollocks. I think oh, she works supernova, good. Supernova, maybe. Oh my god, dude. Oh my and god. Phoenix dive on top. Oh, oh my god, the ticks. Bro, yeah, this is like vanilla lot. WoW warlock right now. It's just, it's like arcane <laughs> fire bit. mage, like just the the dots and the ticks. So crazy. It's like, I get no damage from my attacks, but check out this dot and everything blows up. It's a literal dot, basically. Yeah. It's like, holy sh... Three persons. And... Oh, I need to get up there. And, yeah. Oh, this was just oh, a trash floor. Yeah, I, for some reason in my, in my mind, I was thinking, this is floor 75. Three of them are going to pop up right now. Oh, no, man, uh, I could have sped that up so much. Her feet look PS1 as fuck, though. Okay, Those I know for fact the feet. next one you're gonna fight is Micah. It's, it's gonna be Micah by herself. Oh yeah, this floor is not so bad, especially yeah. for you because you can like outrange Micah easily. Speaking of Micah, she's another character that likes using fire too, and the fact that I I don't know, dude. Like if she's gonna have like the burn effect too in her kit, it's like oh god. I mean, What's you could have Micah Astroth and then Ingrid for all the fire. What's weird is in RPGX, like Micah's the fire god, and like they're what they're one of the alternate futures. So, I want to see like one. I want to see if the characters who are like have their god versions in RPGX get them in um, AT, because we think Hakami Karara is going to be her limited skin, but Yuki never. We never got like the 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 god version of Yuki because the adult that's adult Yuki. Yeah, we only got a limited support. Yeah, we just got a supporter yeah. for her. We didn't actually get her as a skin. And Micah's not playable yet, so who knows what's going to happen with her. Technically, oh, Asuka, technically, Asuka will get hers, basically. Cause yeah. she, is, she is the next one getting her limited cure. Yeah, we, we attack and I think Asuka. It may be Wind God Asuka. Instead That'd be of, nice because I'm saving gems for it. Yeah. At least to get one copy of each. It's weird too, cause Wind God Asuka, like she, so I, I don't know, something happens that reverts her age, so she's like kind of a lowly in RPGX. So I don't know what they're gonna. She's not a lowly, but Can she's you younger looking. All group up. Uh, Wrong way. That Astro. looks good. Oh wait, no. Micah he didn't kinda, get Micah. Yeah, she stepped no, back no, casually. Yeah, he got. 
No, no, I think Azeroth pivoted and turned like 90 degrees or something. Oh, I hate that, dude. The, the targeting system in this game. Yeah, like, that, you can't even blame can player play. error for that, because the character... Like, I hate that with Kirara, too, when you need the basic one thing, and then she just, like, turns, like, 100 degrees. Like, wait, what are you looking at? Yeah, like, just look at Micah's health already gone. Like... Now, I don't think you're going to have any issues with 75. Like, it might be a little trial and error, maybe, but... I'm pretty sure, like, you do the damage and you'll be fine. It's just... He's just trying to... Did you find this yourself, or did you, like, bump heads with anyone to figure it out? Uh, I... I think it was accidental find. Yeah, because this is crazy, Because, uh, during the heavy event is when I, uh, found it, because I would... It was I was leveling Astroth at the time, and... After I got the copy of Heavy, I was leveling it, and I got annoyed that she went into like an invuln state, so I was actually testing Heavy to see if I could take that off. Uh, and I would Phoenix dive into her through a couple mobs, and she would be dead. She, she would just die. The burn ate, ate that uh, boss up. Yeah. So that's... Ah, oh, why and did you go backwards? And with Shisui, backwards. it's so safe to just plant that damage. Like, the, like it's, there you go. Like, oh, she's done. Yeah. She... Jesus, oh my god. People are going to eat this up, man. They're going to be like, oh, man. Damn it, why I did mean, I go to Shizuru? Fact... Now I think Again, Astros better no than Shizuru. no enchanted Shizuru. weapons. Yeah, these are no just... That's what I'm thinking. Dude, imagine if we I did it like... Because my Astros weapon, I think, is at plus 13. Imagine if like I went and just did that with her. I tried to get that weapon. I had zero luck on her banner. I was so depressed. And you're not ulting, too, so it would work with that weapon. Because you could use the active. Because you're not really... You get the super yeah. armor for her. You could just use yeah. like the active for an extra AOE on top of all of it. It'd be really nice. I'm hoping her uh, her unlimited when we get to it is going to be really good because I'm going to try and save. Now I'm hoping her it. limited is like all based around burn. Yeah, that would be with, really nice. Seeing this, I mean, yeah. then I can throw Mike I mean, in. I will say that her limited gear, like she's she's already good enough as it is. This is gonna be meaty. Yeah. Oh my like, god! Oh my god! That's yeah, that's death. Jesus Christ. Pure burst. Yeah, I'm She's gonna have to survive 30 seconds though. Literally a burst mage, Marty. <laughs> literally. This is literally the definition. I hate it definition. when it doesn't take input. This is literally the definition of like, watch the world burn. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, she's making look... As, as yeah, soon she... as I figured this out and saw the damage that that burn can do, I was just like... Where's uh, where's the YouTube vid for Burn Baby Burn? <laughs> oh God! Uh, this is the lady just screams Disco Inferno. This <laughs> is fucking killing shit. Honestly, dude, like the this burn makes Cinders look like a joke. Oh God, we're talking about Cinder now. <laughs> Good old Ruby. But yeah, like this is actually pretty cool. That like this all basically right. makes all her colors viable basically now. Here's the moment of truth. Kill the Yuki. Let's see. Uh, right, let's see how this works. So he's gonna suck. Oh, power they're him. all screwed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The Bro. The trash is gone. Yeah, the trash is gone. That's something. Oh, oh, floor seventy-five. Come on, let me move my character. Let me move it's... my character. It's just Sakura fucking knows what she does. That's an annoying one. I'm surprised the burn didn't burn on that, because I had a good clump. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, now there goes Sakura. Yeah, I don't know why, like, um, Yuki didn't, because I'm pretty sure you hit all of them. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. I mean, we could re oh. you could just re retreat the run. Because yeah. I'm positive you hit them. It's weird that it didn't. I wonder if I should just uh, swap Mura and Astroth just to get to the boss faster. Yeah, if you want to do that, go for it. Yeah, it's, it's you, no big you... deal. Like the, the like I said, my original tower run, I wiped for like 40 minutes. so, And I just threw that shit on YouTube and no one complained. So like, I don't think it's going to take you that long. Yeah, because I'm not yeah. playing this how I'd normally play it because I'm just trying to show off that burn. I don't know why I didn't I, tick them, because I, I, I saw you hit everything. I hit yeah. everything, especially with that, uh, what's gonna call it, uh, Supernova. 
And then I thought I Phoenix dive through them all. I'm so glad like you you, you use this counter because I was literally like, why is no one? I, I know someone said to me they don't like the oh, counter. Oh, I'm in bone. <laughs> oh, you all because of uh, you know. <laughs> But um, uh, I, I was like, why does no one use the counter? And they're like, oh, I don't like having to stand there for the skill. I'm like, just time it to their attack. Like, it's really easy. <laughs> like, look at that. Uh, and it, it heals you. I'd wait for that. You basically fact, have did I it. also do a floor on her where all I did was this? You sat there countering? Because yeah. the cooldown yeah, is literally Yeah, I, I didn't nothing. move. I, I just yeah. did this. <laughs> like, she's such a busted character. I'm like, I don't give a damn about, like, Tentacle Mine and crap. Like, I mean, yeah, I use them. But that counter is her best skill to me. That's good. She has, what, three healing abilities? Seriously. Hit me, I dare you. Thank you. Yeah, see, all, that's what, all people have to do is time it, and then you're not stuck waiting. It's just get good with the character, basically. Oh my god, don't say get good. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when people say get good. How'd you do that? Get good. That doesn't tell me how. <laughs> <laughs> well, me... This is just... Uh, well, this you just already told them. Just timing. That's it. The, you just need yeah, but yeah, the timing... Oh, you're gonna let... Okay, you're letting her die. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's see. Alright, yeah, and it's ticking now. Yeah. Yeah, like, okay. Look, look, yeah, yeah, okay. Look yeah, there Rankle. we go. Rankle, yeah, Rankle's is like basically half our health's almost gone, basically. Uh... The... Sakura's missing about a thousand bars. I can't I can't get a yeah, look the... on Yuki. Yeah, Yuki's just Oh there you go. She's at three thousand. Yeah. Oof. So she so she technically lost her almost like around more like eight hundred. Damn, I'm getting ping pong pretty good. I don't know what's going on with the dodges. It's just She's floor. dodging backwards instead of the direction I'm holding. Yeah, when, once they touch you, you dodge like that. It's that crappy thing I always complain about that they need to just take out of the game. Like, whenever you get touched by anything, your character jerks back instead of dodging where you want. It's why Emily, when she's um, using her, her like auto attack, can't really deal with getting dogpiled, because she keeps dodging back. Uh, I think Rank only was the only one that got touched by that. Yeah, this is unfortunate. And your vulnerability ran out. I love it how I was like almost casting that supernova and nothing uh this is where the boredom comes in for science no <laughs> well, it's fine because i know on the 71 with yuki i i got the perfect setup with the phoenix dive and the burt the burn just consumed her well they have uh they have 4500 bars you did what like almost 2000 oh, i thought they're still at 4k no, on the last floor they're like so I think they're like forty five or like they're just above four K. Yeah, like Renko you had her basically on most like I think Renko has the most out of all of them, if I remember right. Cause I thought it was four thousand too. That's why uh Sui told me he doesn't think I could beat Tower with uh my Kirara. Because he thought he said that they would just stand on me with their HP. But then Kirara killed Yuki like in one Uno rotation. She just beat her face in. Yeah, that, that was just the Renko one from your, it was like, what the hell, dude? You almost basically lost that one. Yeah, Renko almost meteored me, like, just one-shot me, but she lived. But yeah, what, what do you think of the burn, Mario? Oh, no, I think the burn's amazing. It makes me want to, like, take Astaroth out of retirement. Because, see, I put Astaroth away for Shizuru. Because, I mean, it's well, Shizuru. Well, she is one of your girls. Yeah, Shizuru's my buddy. That, that yo... Know, the moral of this video, I mean, it's about the burn, but I need people to know how good this parry is. Like, I'm so happy someone, like, is using this damn parry. Because every, all the Morisaki gameplay I've seen since this game has come out, and I've never seen anyone go, hey, check out this, you know, sweet parry. Because I think it's better than Coronize, because it's just, it's like, what? Okay. Oh, why did they all, like, scatter like roaches there? The trash is really good at staying put. The bosses all scatter. Yeah, because they are all like finicky all over the place. They want to go crazy and go stupid at the same time. Um, do like get, go around them in a circle, like, cause they're gonna basically um, 
I'll, I'll try to explain it before the, if you wipe, I'll explain it because I don't want to like fuck you up now. I'm yeah. listening. Okay, kind of like what you're doing right now. And um, aim for like corners and then immediately leave the corner. Because when the time in an attack, they always finish their animation of what they're doing. So you want to plant them. Like that's what I did with Kirara. Like if you plant them in a corner or something, then they're going to continue their animation there. And it'll give you like a little breathing room. Like you're still kind of in dodge hell. But I, I don't know if I'm explaining it well, but that's pretty much what you could, you should do. If you want an easy clump in the beginning, if you stand in the middle, they're going to converge onto you. That's what I was trying to set up yeah. with the Morisaki and then immediately went to Sushiri. But all the mobs did, and I saw like Sakura running off one direction, Rinko the other, and it yeah. was just like... I know the beginning of this pull, like Yuki just kind of like dodged, like waddled away for no reason. Yeah, but the, yeah, now you're doing it like perfect. That's way harder for them to get to you. Because they're going to finish what they're doing. See? Unless unless Sakura does a spin to win, basically. Because this is pretty much like the what I use to like get through a Kirara. It just kind of exploits how the game attacks you. Because they always have to like swap and change direction. I think you just killed them, though. Because you could just ult them down, I think, now. I think one of them will live, but that's way easier to deal with. I think most of them are around 200. Yeah, I know one. Oh, no. One was at like, yeah, Yuki's the one. Yuki was. Oh my god, 15, fuck Sakura. Yeah. yeah, Sakura's bear. But no, yeah, the, the build, like the burn, is impressive right as hell. There's no, there's no contending that. I hadn't realized it was that good because, you know, when she came out, I used her, I think, for like what the bonus that was there, and then I kind of put her away and I was done with her. I just showcased her for the community. I mean, yeah. to be fair, they did. They kept throwing bonus stages that had reduced damage to. Range, yeah, that's so the other thing. Like, I'm really yeah. like um, not into range characters right now because of that like period of where they were just nerfing range damage. So it makes yeah, me but, feel yeah. like I don't want to build it anymore because I don't want to risk it being reduced. Yeah, like that. That was like that. That's why like some people kind of got off putting. Basically, it's the same thing. It's because Yuki was just so ridiculously strong, and then they kind of. They basically did it for Yuki, but they didn't realize that it was going to affect Astroth, Emily, and then like, and then like Tokiko, basically, when they came out, basically. I'm going to say, I'm going to say to you what Tak said to me when I ran it. You pretty much already have the run. It's just getting like the perfect, you know, like you yeah, have the I'm run, trying, you have the damage. I'm trying to do the run, you know, a, a specific way, you know, utilizing yeah. that burn. So, I mean, I... If you want to just blow them up, I mean, you, I, I think you've showcased it. It's up to you, though. Like, I'm, I'm sure people yeah, understand how it works. One more. Yeah, I mean, I'm even part. good to, to just save it and, you know, just try stuff out on here later. I mean, that is true. Are you going to actually to... um clear it, or you just want to, like, uh, save it for testing? Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah, that's uh, I, I don't know. I'm usually bad at saving these runs. Uh, But... I don't mind having it for testing either. Yeah, because we don't know when we're gonna get the next twenty-five floors for us. Probably, so. probably around like, um, like around summer, I guess. Yeah, I think it's gonna be because I think it's gonna be like every six months or within yeah. that area. Yeah, so like I like probably summer or late summer, I would say. Because I think Kay in the video with the developers, he said that it was uh, every twenty-five story, like mission. So every every story chapter we get is five. So it yeah, should, would five. be every five story chapters we get a tower. Yeah, because like right now, where are we at now? Like right now, I'll check since I'm... A... So we technically are at chapter 16, so just add five to that. That, would, that should be like around where the next floors are going to be, basically. Yeah, I think by chapter 20 or 21, we'd see our next tower. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, boy. They're definitely taking oh, a yeah, lot less damage on that burn dot right now. I wonder if it's some like internal control against crazy stuff like this. Oh, they they they're, they're pretty right beefy. Back. They felt like I was hitting leather because you know Kirara. Like I'm used to her punches just ending stuff, and it didn't it didn't end them as easily as I'm used to. Yeah, 
Got, yeah, perfect. Save time for Shisui. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. No! Oh, no. No! no. <laughs> that was the media right there. That... <sighs> you got a little greedy. You got a little bit greedy. I got greedy. Yeah. I mean, if you feel like I showed that burn, all right. Oh, yeah, no, you definitely showcased it. I'm sure. Yeah. Doing it with that. Yeah, I'm sure this build could cl clear it, no problem. It's just so, that it's it's gonna it's gonna be like what Mari's key are. It's gonna take like like trial and error to get it, basically. Yeah, you have the run. Like I'm not it's worried. It's the about AI grouping it. up, really. Yeah. So do you want to um go for clear here? Or do you want to just leave the floor for? Cause like the five like red stones aren't really valuable anymore because of the level packs now. So it's not like urgent that you clear it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's up to you if you want to give me stuff to play around with. Yeah, I think I'll save it for testing so I can find more crazy stuff like that burn things, maybe on, on other characters or something. All right, so just a, uh, a quick, like, it, um... It, I think I would have gotten it had I had enchanted weapons and such on her. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, like, if you went in there with, like, a plus, even, like, plus five to, like, like ten weapon, you would probably or blow them up. Yeah. yeah. You don't even need to go past that. that. Because that damage would be multiplicative based on number of things hit with the scaling increase on enchanted weapons. So before we end the video, just to like, um, so how it works is the more things you hit, the percentage on those burns deals its damage based on the total damage dealt, not like the initial target or one target. Because that's, so, what, it, that's yeah, what it's so... looking like. Like you said, it looks exactly like what you said. Yeah, I originally thought it was just like, you know, okay, the, it does 60% of the damage to the target is applied as the burn, but I was noticing inconsistencies hitting one target versus multiple targets. Mm -hmm. So I think it's the total damage of the skill to however many number of targets, that total value is what that 60% burn is done. Yeah, because some of those ticks were like outrageous. Like I, like one was, I saw, I think today we saw one for close to like six, 700k. You've said you've seen one for 800. There was one for a million off of her um, supernova, I think. Mm -hmm. so. Actually, I think back when you were playtesting uh, Blue Build on Astroth way back when, I think those million hits that we were seeing were actually the burn procs. Cause yeah, you were hitting not the AoE. Coming. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. it was the skill itself. I was like, whoa, this hits hard, but now I'm not so sure. Um. So yeah, I mean, I appreciate you sharing this. Like, I'm definitely... I, what do you want to call the build? It's your build. What are we naming it? Uh, it's just burn Baby Burn. Burn Baby Burn. Okay, that's what the video is going to be called. Well, I want to thank you for sharing this and taking the time to stream it to us. Um, any like last words from any of you guys? Anything you want to say before we end the video? Uh, the new blue supporters are pretty nice if you can find characters to make use of them. I agree, and I definitely think... Uh, like. I think I've said this already, but if I haven't, I think everyone should try to get one Yuki. Like, at least one. Just one. But, you Although know. her active is kind of small on the uh, areas. Uh, her active, on the area her, dude, her active yeah. is so good, though. It hits so hard. It hits really hard, yeah. but tiny area. I was messing around with it on, I think, on my Kiara in the bonus. Uh, or not the bonus, on just the normal uh, stage 5 hard. Yeah, uh, leveling up uh, supporter affection, and I would use it like right away at the spawn, and I was like, "Hey, wait! I I only hit a trash mob, so I had to move in between them, and then I can tag both. And sometimes, if it crits, it'll kill them both right away because my car has a little baby. I think we were saying she's like around half the CP is yours. Oh yeah, the... <laughs> Key Ray Ray. She's so bad, dude. They really fucked her up. Like there's like her, I, mm, I just feel I, I love I will her. Say, but she's I, bad. I, her and Murasaki probably have the strongest or hardest hitting melees or basics in the game. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't know what's up with their basics, but they like scale out of control. Yeah, they kind of go. They, and Kirara is weird because her hard. basics, uh, her attack stat is really low compared to most characters, but for some reason her yeah. basics just get really high. But yeah, that's the They're video. Scaling. Um, thank you guys. Thanks for sharing the footage. 
what was it Waystorm? Wait, it's so god, yeah, I'm Waystorm. sorry. Because like when I read it, okay. I just want to say like Y Force Storm instead of like Wave. Because I I think like G Force or something. But yeah, like, all good. So uh, yeah, thank or, you Waystorm like, for sharing. You know, sharing. Whiskey Tango Fast Trot. You know, something like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, thank you Tack for always being here. I appreciate that, and thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell so you actually get the notifications because YouTube is doo doo, and. Yeah, with that, um, that's the video, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another one. Toodles!